circulating tumor cells are a commercially available test. It's an FDA cleared assay uh, that's approved for um, patients who have metastatic breast cancer uh, where it provides prognostic information. However, it's not often used in that setting um, because the prognostic information may not always be actionable. Um, in addition, it's been shown that in early stage breast cancer, uh, after surgery, that about 20% of patients will have detectable circulating tumor cells and that it provides prognostic information. In our study, what we did was apply this existing technology to a completely different clinical situation. We looked at patients who were five or more years after diagnosis and were at uh, elevated risk for late relapse. When I say elevated risk, I mean they had generally had node positive disease or had larger uh, node negative tumors and had estrogen receptor positive disease. And we know that about half of all recurrences um, of estrogen receptor positive disease uh, occur after five years. What we found was that about 5% of patients in this population had detectable CTCs in their, in their bloodstream. These are patients who were clinically without any evidence of recurrence. So that's point number one. Point number two was that uh, in those patients who were CTC positive, they had about a 20-fold higher risk of having a recurrence uh, over the next two years compared with those who were CTC negative. The results of this trial provide the highest level of evidence, level one evidence supporting the clinical validity of uh, the presence of detectable CTCs in the blood and a subsequent recurrence of breast cancer. Uh, that I think we've, we've nailed down. Uh, and there are other studies uh, that we may hear about soon that um, may confirm that. What we don't know is what the usefulness of having that information is. In other words, can um, having that prognostic information result in a change in treatment? Uh, and would patients benefit from that change? And it can change treatment in two ways. For the low-risk patient who is CTC negative, uh, we may be able to say uh, and, re and recommend um, with greater confidence that they can stop their endocrine therapy. They may not need to continue it for another three, five years or longer. And for those who are CTC positive, we can say, hey, you're at, at really high risk for relapse. We need to explore other strategies other than just continuing our endocrine therapy uh, that you were going to be on anyway. Uh, to test other strategies to help reduce the risk of recurrence. And this will need to be done through carefully con uh, conducted clinical trials. Mm -hmm.